So in a particular preschool, there must be one teacher for every five children. And if C represents the number of children, we want to figure out which of these expressions could be used to represent the number of teachers required. So part A says we take five and multiply it by the number of children. Part B says we'll take the number of children and divide by five. Part C says take five and divide it by the number of children. And part D says uh, take five plus the number of children. And again, these expressions are going to tell us the number of teachers required. So let's suppose that we have, well, five children. Well, if we have five children, we'll need one teacher. I'll use a capital T for the number of teachers. Well, if we have 10 children, we would need two teachers. If we have 15 children, we would need three teachers, etc. So let's see which one of these equations, or excuse me, which one of these expressions would, would make sense. So part A, it says we would take five times the number of children. And I'm going to put a little question mark here. Is that correct? Well, again, let's let C equal, I'm just going to use C equals 10. It says we should be getting 2 as our value, right? Because we said if you have 10 children, you're going to need 2 teachers. But using this expression, it says we'll get 5 multiplied by C, which is 10. It says in this case, we would actually need 50 teachers, which is certainly not correct. Part B says we'll take the number of children and divide by 5. So again, is this one correct? Well, again, let's maybe let C equal 10. If C equals 10, our expression would give the value 10 divided by 5, which is going to equal 2. And hey, that says, that's what we said, right? If you, if you have 10 children, you're going to need two teachers. And that's the value we're getting. Notice, likewise, if we put in 15 for C, we would have 15 divided by 5, which would be 3. And again, that's how many teachers we said we needed. So to me, it looks like B is going to be the correct answer. Um, part C says we'll take 5 and divide it by the number of children. Well, let's see. Um, notice, you have to be careful, and this is why it's always good to check a couple values. Notice if we let um, C equal 5, right? If we have 5 children, our expression would give us the value 5 divided by 5, which is 1. And that, that's how many teachers we said we need, right? We said if you have 5 children, you need 1 teacher. So it's like, oh, OK, maybe, maybe part C works. Um, let's check another value. Let's let C equal 10. If C equals 10 and we put it into our formula, though, we're going to get 5 divided by 10, which is 1 half. So now it says you need half a teacher, which clearly doesn't make sense, right? Um, we said we need two teachers. And the same thing, if we plug in C equals 15, it says if you put in 15, you would get 5 over 15. Um, that reduces to 1 third. And again, clearly not giving us the correct value. So C doesn't make sense. So let's be careful there. Um, always good to check a couple solutions. If you're, if you're going to do this on an exam like this, you know, kind of um, like I'm doing, always check more than one. Check more than one solution. And part D, let's just look at this one real quick. You know, for example, if we had 10 children, our last expression would say we would need 5 plus 10 uh, total 5 plus 10 would give us 15, and we don't need 15 teachers for 10 children. So again, D definitely doesn't make sense. So B is certainly the correct choice in this case.